Greetings everyone out there in uh, YouTube land. As you can see, <coughs> well, first of all, this is Sarge, the USMC, uh, the name of the channel, Mixed Match Stereo. As you can see, I have in front of me a huge box. Now, the question is, what's inside this box? Currently in my music room, I probably have about, uh, I'll say 10 power amps. So if there's one thing I didn't need, it was a power amp. I probably had 20 all together throughout the house. In their previous video, I said my favorite component is the power amp. Something that creates power and make things move. So that's why I have a fetish or a great admiration, a great love for power amps. So this package comes from the music room. That's heavy. The music room. And she used um I love the company. I have a component already from this company. And I hold this company in great esteem. Right up there with Macintosh. Some might love Macintosh. Some might hate Macintosh. But I love Macintosh for the sound quality. It looks and it's just a great looking great sounding product and I hold this company in the same esteem as I do Macintosh. They were once on the same banner Macintosh group but uh, someone bought them from a Macintosh group. All right so Let's dig inside this box and see what did I purchase. Once again, this is used from uh, the music room. I needed this like I needed a hold on my head, but high respect for the company. The uh, product is still current. And now it sells for, uh, current, it sells for 12,000 bucks. When this came out, the price was uh, 8,900. And I paid nowhere near that price. All right, so I'm gonna try to get this box out of this box. Let's see, let's see if this bag is what company it is. I'm talking about that I hold in high esteem right up there with Macintosh on the same level. I think this company was started probably in 1970, all your research, somewhere in that time frame uh, by William Zane Johnson, the late William Zane Johnson. Uh, from what I read about William Zane Johnson, when they went from uh, 
vacuum tubes in today. Uh, two solid state transistors. A lot of folks didn't care much for the sound of transistors. Richard Johnson was one of the main, main ones who didn't like the sound of transistors versus the uh, tube amplification. So uh, he uh, didn't like the sound of solid state transistors. So he turned the world upside down by introducing the vacuum tube in this product. So we used back in the 1970s. So audio research, I have a current power ramp, the VT100 uh, Mark III. And that's a beast. I blew it up. Uh, I had smoke coming out of it. But uh, still plays, but I got a hum in it. So I gotta troubleshoot that. But I ran across this amp on uh, the music room website. Like, like I said, I don't need to know a power ramp, but this is a great power ramp. I love the company and I got it, in my opinion, for a great, great deal. So that's why I purchased it. All right, let's take a look at this bad boy and see what model it is. It's still current, you can buy this new. But now they call it 12,000. And this one came out, it was uh, 8,900. Holy cow. I got the, I think these, uh, they hold the tubes, tube holders, uh, tube dampers, whatever you want to call them. I think they just were uh, hauling around. I'm not even sure what they name these for. They flimsy, it's not paper. I'm not sure what it is. Some kind of fine mesh. So inside of this box, like three more boxes. This is a oil research VT80 SE special edition. Auto Research VT80, this is the SE version. The uh, VT80, uh, when that version was out, it used a KT120 power tubes. This is the VT, VT80 SE, it used the uh, four KT150 power tubes. All right, so let's see what's in this box. And this is my first amp that I ever used with KT 150s. in the freaking box. Alright, so what's in this box? I'll say it's a thing of beauty. These are my uh, four output tubes, two per channel, KT 150s. This is the uh, input tubes. I think they 630. I forgot. They already come with two dampers on them. I think these are, yeah, the 6H30. 6H30 EB. 6H30 EB uh, input tubes. Just one per channel. Input tubes to this input tubes. Just gonna drive these two output tubes. This input tubes is gonna drive these two input tubes. So they're input tubes plus slash driver driver tubes. Alright. Thing of beauty. Alright, so what's in this? Okay, this is just a cover. Alright, so let's pull 
this out. Certain things, certain things that say to certain people. I am highly excited right now. Audio research, DTESE. -E. You turn this box upside down, I'll try to use this as a table. This is it. Like I said, I ran across this man on uh, the website, the Migs Room. I think uh, I bought this is my second purchase on the Migs Room. I bought the Balance Audio Technology Bat VK55 also from the Migs Room. The Migs Room is a great website. They carry great audio gear. They'll also buy your used gear. I said I wasn't going to visit no more websites. I wasn't going to visit Audio Gun. I wasn't going to visit the music room. I just bought a power ramp around about Christmas time. The Prima Luna uh, Dialog Premium HP. So that's still in the setup. Just bought that. So I wasn't going to buy another power amp, but I ran across this. I couldn't, I couldn't pass it up. Great company, the high accolades. I mean, uh, it's fantastic. And this thing, this thing was just drop dead gorgeous. All right. <laughs> You got me sweating. Out of shape. I need an energy balance. Alright, so this is uh this is the face plate. Just power it up. It's a power ramp, it's not a preamp, so you don't have a lot of knobs and buttons and doodabs, doodads. It's got one power button, power it up and you're good to go. Yeah, thank you, note. Josh, the music room. Dear fellow audio pal, it's a great company. Great company. All right, I'm gonna install some tubes. Let me get my uh, pair of gloves. Be right back. I'm still enjoying the Prima Luna uh, power ramp. So, I don't know. I want to do a couple more videos with the Prima Luna. I'm going to try to before installing this. Look at this thing. Oh, also, you notice some of my recordings on my, my last recording. I use the Shure microphones, uh, close mic recording, 
I had them eight and a half inches from the speakers. The clips were to these two. I'm trying to find the uh, perfect uh, recording position, recording distance. So a couple of folks, <laughs> special thing is Dodge Engineering. Oh, I hate it, I hate it. Yeah, I'm just playing around, you know, just trying to figure this out. The best spot, the, the place of microphones. So my next video, I'm gonna do the same setup with the sure mics, but I'm gonna put them, I'm gonna have them two foot back from the speaker. So I had eight inches, almost a foot. So I'm gonna set the mics uh, two, feet by, two feet back from the speaker. And we'll try it again. Will it be the Prima Luna or will it be the DT eighty SE? Okay. First something about these two is being numbered. This is being numbered. It's numbered. It says V2. You can see that or not. V2. So I'm gonna put this in the V2 slot. KT 150. This is my first time using these tubes. You can run these also in the Prima Luna that I have in the room now. But you gotta buy eight of them. And eight KT-150s. I think the price on uh, Upscale Audio website was like 1200 bucks. I think eBay had a set for uh, 1600 bucks. I don't want to pay that much money for vacuum tubes. So this one has just four KT-150s. And this also push, I think it's 70 watts, 70 watts per channel. And the uh, Prima Luna, you need eight of these. And I think their wattage with eight of these is like, a, it might be 90 watts per channel. I can't remember. So this one takes four of them. <clears throat> this, here, this one says V1. So this will go in this slot here where it says uh, V1. And you gotta match up your slot or your pin, your slot on this part here, little slot. So they easily slot into the groove. Uh, this one is actually this way. And yeah, that pin was just that way on this one. This pin is this way on this one. So be careful to line them up properly. This one is V4, you can see it, V4. So this here is slot for V4. And if you have to upgrade or buy new tubes, you can also get them from audio research. They can have premium tubes and I guarantee you that they're premium calls. I'm not sure if I go to audio research or the re replacement tubes or if I want to go to upscale audio. I'll decide that when the time comes. I think these tubes have a lifespan of 3,000 hours, these output tubes. If I remember correctly, it's 3,000 hours of playing time. I don't know the age of these tubes or how old they are, but I'll just play it. Let them go bad. This is a V3. I only had one slot left. That's a no brainer. All right, so I have all four KT150 output tubes installed. All right, let's see the side view of this thing. How long it is. Alright. The back of it. I haven't really looked at it myself yet. So you got the uh, balance inputs left and right. If you don't use balance cables, you have RCA left and right. You got a switch for uh, balance. Can't read that one part of it. All right, you have a uh, output tap for your speakers. 
ground ground worms items. Uh, that a 20 amp uh, AC, so you need a 20 amp power cord. I have one, but it's currently on my Shinyata. I have two 20 amp power cord Shinyatas, but they're in use, so I'm going to go and stop uh, 20 amp until I upgrade it. I'm sure I'll probably upgrade it. It'd probably be a Sh Shinyata also. So the inputs and tubes, well the output tubes are installed for right channel, left channel. Now we're going to install the uh, input tubes, driver tubes. They already come with two dampers. Only two, two dampers are to keep the tube from vibrating. Okay. Now these are the tricky ones. You gotta be really careful on these tubes up. You gotta find that gap on your socket and just push them down. This here says 10. All right, so I think I see it. I should have brought my flashlight in here. That one's in place. <laughs> the uh, right channel. It's a gap between these pins. Between these pins, there's a little water gap. So that also lines up with the uh, socket inside. So there's my gap. I gotta find the gap on the uh, socket board or the socket. Now that. All right, so we're ready to rock and roll. I would power it up, but I don't like power up power amps without having a uh, connection to the speakers. So, once again, this is my audio research. Audio research is also there uh, out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. They've been in Minnesota, I think, from day one. William Zane Johnson, I read a lot about him before he passed away. But then the company, uh, McIntosh bought out them, McIntosh Group. So they had McIntosh, Sinus Labor, a few more companies in auto research. I think the owner now of auto research is uh, the core acoustics guy who designed and manufactured core speakers. He loved the product of uh, auto research. So he's the current owner, or Core Acoustics is the current owner now of audio research. <laughs> this is a thing of beauty. Once again, I can't wait to fire it up. And I think, uh, what time is it? Probably two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so I'll probably go in there now and then uh, power down the uh, the Prima Luna uh, dial out a premium HP. I don't know if I want to do that or not. I want to do a couple more videos with the uh, Prima Luna first, but I don't know what I'm going to do. I want to hear this thing too. So. Uh, uh, yeah, I think I'll power down the uh, Prima Luna. And put this bad boy in. So I'll put the Prima Luna back in, I think, for I don't know. I don't know. Stay tuned. <laughs> hey, this is Sarge, uh, USMC. Uh, name of that channel, once again, YouTube channel is uh, Makes Match Studio. Yep, so I did it again. I bought it. Another freaking power amp. Alright, I'm gonna sign off on that note. I'm gonna go in the music room and power down the Prima Luna. And I'm gonna put this bad boy in place and power it up. Alright, so thank you guys for tuning in. Hey, be patient with me in my recording. I'm just trying to find the right way to record. 
the right distance, the right placement. You try to get this uh, idea position. And I love doing this stuff. I love playing around. Thank you guys for the comments. Positive, negative, it's all good. All right. Uh, we just out here, having, out here having fun. That's what it's all about, having a good time. I invested a lot of time and money in the system. Uh, I like to share it. I don't have any all your five buddies that live close by. So you guys are my buddies. <laughs> all right. Sign up. Subscribe.